Hi everybody, and welcome to the course, Affinity Photo Raw Processing for Photographers. In this course, you will learn the most efficient and effective raw workflow using the photo editing software, Affinity Photo. My name is Shamira Young, and I'm a photographer and artist with a passion for creativity and productivity. This course is for photographers who are generally familiar with the raw process and are looking for an alternative to Lightroom. It's also for those who are accustomed to being hands-on with their photo editing process, want to learn a basic, methodical approach, and seek to achieve a high-end result. And if you're a user of programs such as Photo Mechanic or Adobe Bridge, you will benefit from this course as well. In this course, we will make basic raw edits to a couple of images from beginning to end in Affinity Photo. You will gain a solid foundational knowledge of the raw editing capabilities within the program, and you'll also learn how to process raw images in general. Keep in mind that using the methodology learned in this course, you can use the same system and principles to control your raw images in similar software. Here's an outline of the course. First, we're going to discuss what raw capture is and why it's so important. Next, we'll walk through the steps of purchasing Affinity Photo, open our class file together, and then get familiar with the program's interface. Then, we'll get into the hands-on portion of editing our raw images. Alright, let's talk about what raw capture is and why it's significant to you as a photographer. So why is shooting in raw so important? And how is it advantageous? With the raw photo, the key is that you're getting unprocessed or raw data from your camera sensor that you can then manipulate later and with much greater flexibility than a JPEG. When you set your camera settings and take a photo, the image is created on your camera sensor. The information is recorded as raw, and you can fine-tune settings such as the white balance, exposure, and contrast later instead of relying on your camera to set them for you. This gives you increased flexibility when editing your images. However, because your computer can't display a raw photo correctly, it has to be converted into an image that you can work with. You control the processing, and no detail is lost from the image because you're working with an uncompressed file. When you just shoot in JPEG, however, your camera does a lot of the processing itself and also compresses the image, which causes you to lose some information. The camera's processor will set the white balance, brightness, contrast, sharpening, saturation, and similar settings for you, which limits what you can do with the image later. And why is this information important to you as a photographer trying to get the highest quality image possible? Because you get greater control of your processing with raw images. You're able to more easily fix problems within your photos and therefore produce higher quality images. And when you make corrective adjustments to a raw file, those edits are non-destructive because you're not actually changing the original image data. You're only saving a set of instructions for how it should be saved upon conversion to another file format. But do keep a few things in mind. Raw file sizes are large. They can be more than twice the size of the typical JPEG, meaning you won't be able to fit as many on your card while shooting. They can potentially slow your camera down as well, and it will be necessary to purchase additional storage space. Let's move on to the next lesson and go over what you will need to get the most out of this course.